Welcome, everyone. Uh, by the way, we're going to start slowly as uh, Ronnie is still streaming. And uh, we want to have some people in here first. We first are doing the event here. Holy Knight's Treasure. And let me put just an information text here. So everybody is aware. We're going to start on Tomiri's topic. 1930 UTC. So if you are just here for the for the bug or whatever we want to call it, uh, you can return at 19.30 UTC. Yes, that's right, so i 22 minutes. I just want the live stream to be as full as possible. Alright, so far what I have heard, this event is pretty worse. And give me a minute. Okay, so I looked into this event and we have to choose a blueprint here. We have to choose a blueprint and I think we're going for caps. I'm all in for caps. No archers, no infantry. I want the full caps. It's poop unless the good of luck shines on you. Yeah, it's shining on me. Hello Fly, show us the nukes today. Eh, maybe no nukes today. But uh, it's astonishing. Hello from Hawaii. Infamous, welcome. How are you beautiful people today? John. Oh, let's see. I do enjoy Fly streams over all others. So much more actual emotion and humor. Thank you very much, John, and be a very welcome. Beat Zenobia to Miris. What I'm going to show you here is uh, crazy, okay? It's just crazy. I'm not showing it now. We have 20 minutes to go, but it's really, really crazy. If this is being used on the correct way, man, rallies are just vanishing. They are just vanishing. And just let me show you something. Wait. Let me show you something. Okay, let's let's have a fast look here. Please look at the skill damage. 1.24 million. Okay. Now you know a rally is about 2.4 million without Ansem, okay? In normal KVK, a normal rally has like 2.4 million. In Ansem they can have a little bit more, like 3 million or I think even more. But this is 1.2 million with one skill, bam! <laughs> one third of the rally is gone with one skill. So you have one skill, you have another skill proc and then the rally is done. Two or three skill procs, even in Ansem the rally is over. So so easy. So this is really game changing. This is really game changing. And this is for both. This is for the rally. And this can also be used in the fort defense. So if you have a fort and you're using this strategy, any kind of rally which is coming along your way, boom. You can just you can just get rid of them. But we're going to talk about this a little bit later. 1930 I'm going to uh, talk about this topic. Let, let people come in here first. Let people come in here first. Okay, let me do something with the picture here. Some magic. Okay. 
Okay, let's go into the event. Now I why I want to go see uh, full into Kev's. Well, let me just show you my reasoning. Check my truth. I'm all in for Kev's. I'm close to 7 million uh, T4 Kev's and also have some T5. But uh, I like to take rallies. So I want to concentrate on Kev equipment. Even when defending with a city keeper. But I need Kev equipment. Uh, let me just take a fast look on my Attila. And that's how he looks right now. Now this is defense. Oh, let me just get a fast link here for all the people. I need to give you an important link when talking about equipment now. And this is this video. Okay, let me link this up. And I'm going to pin it. Okay. If you are interested in b about uh, stats referring to equipment here. So you can forge equipment but you're not sure what stats you should craft. Attack, defense, HP. If you don't know about that, check out my video. This is also a live stream I have made talking about the stats and how they perform on equipment. You should know about that before going into crafting. So right now, every time you're crafting equipment you should think about two cases, offensive or defensive. And you will know, you will know what I'm talking about when seeing my video. So an offensive situation is doing a rally for example. If you do a rally which is fully reinforced this is offensive situation. If we are fighting on the field like uh, ruins, altar, kingsland we can choose a defense situation. Defense situation means HP and death stats. Okay? Defense situation, HP and death stats. But if you are a rally leader, like I like to do with my Attila, I want to full go into attack. So I want to have two equipment sets, two different equipment sets. This is what I want here. So I'm not just concentrating on one type of equipment, I try to have both. So if I equip defense weapon here, this is good for defense, like if I'm fighting on the field. But if I do a rally, which is fully reinforced, I change to attack. I can change my whole equipment to attack, pure attack. If you are a rally leader, you're starting a rally which is fully reinforced, you full go into attack. Everything. This is an offensive situation, but if you're fighting on the field, you can go and exchange all your attack stuff with, uh, with HP. First priority HP, second priority defense. But craft as efficient as possible. You cannot just get HP, it's not possible. But you can try to get it to get as much as possible. And welcome everyone by the way. We are going to start to talk about the Tomiris topic at uh, 19.30 UTC. So, as now you know I'm going full into caps. this means for me I have to go for the shoes I think. Let me fast check it over. And I think this was HP, yeah this one. Boots of the hellish wasteland. This is one part of the wasteland Z. And as I'm also going to craft the weapon here. Rifle of the Hellish Wasteland. Well, then I have two Zs and I can get some more HP. So, just let's make sure I'm not choosing the wrong one. And let me choose some appropriate music. There we go. So, Boots of the Hellish Wasteland. This is what I'm going for. And how many we need? 21. Okay. There we go. Okay, select it. 
And we start the spins. That's a lot of fragments. That's a lot. Oh, I just clicked away. Sorry for that, but you have seen what uh, we just received. This was a lot of fragment, and I believe this was one uh, equipment chest. So that's still okay. By the way, in the VIP shop, one equipment chest is about 600 gems. And we still can use the free one. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to use it now. And legendary. Damn. Okay, let me check something here very fast, but meanwhile I can just open another five. And we got three chests. This is 1800 gem value. Referring to the VIP shop, we got four fragments. Building speed up and we got uh, three uh, legendary. That's good. Okay, I just fast need to upload a video here, so we can check it out when going into the Tomiris topic. Okay. Okay. We uh, can open the 10 times chest. Five. Claudio, it's real. And welcome everyone, by the way. We're going to start to talk about the Tomiris topic at 19.30 UTC, which is in about 10 minutes. And another one. Okay, let me check something here. Something just happened, but we are back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the screen broke. Happens sometimes. By the way, uh, we just got something and I clicked it away, so cannot tell you what it was. Doesn't matter. Make a new one. And this is a very bad one. Like, uh, very bad. Yeah, I rather would receive uh, materials. And I don't need resources at all. Is this choice chest or only for armor? Uh, this is a choice chest for the head gear. Saba, welcome. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, please make a screenshot and Damn, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, there we go. Now you can see it. Sorry, my mistake. Now the screen should update. Now the screen should update. Let me check. Are we back into business? Yes, we are. Okay, and this is a very nice screen you should be able to see now. And, uh... Uh, I'm satisfied with this. Looks good. Looks good to me. Six legendaries with uh, 2,400 gems. That is acceptable. Okay. Let's proceed here. Before I proceed, 
I take the chest here. I change the music. And I check my blueprints. For the boots. Okay, let's see. How many do we have? We have 21. Okay, nine more to go. Yes, I want to take my 2400 gems and another one. Wow, this event is nice. Hey, 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 hey. This event is very good. This event is very good. It's good value for those uh, legendary blueprints. And uh, welcome everyone. All right, we have three. We need six more. Six more to go. We have six more spins. Mm, I'm not I'm not happy with this one. Building. I don't need building at all. I have too many building speedups. Yes, we can get rid of them in Ansem, but still. Okay, another one. Flash, how do you play the holy treasure? Do we have lag going on? Because I clicked the button. I'm pretty sure I did. No. Hmm. Okay, now. Um, John is saying the blueprints are hard, the materials are hell. Yes, I have to agree on that. I'm very low on materials now. And I even haven't forged a lot of legendaries. I'm mainly forging epics only. And this is an okay value. It's just okay. Because you have uh, three equipment, which is about 1800 gems. That's okay. And some speed ups. Taking this one. Taking this one. And another one. And this is crap again. It's really bad. And we can get one of those. Six. This is a nice value. So even you're getting uh, crap rounds. That's okay. That's okay. And one more. <sighs> Two equipment chests. This is about... 1200 gems then we have two choice chests for epic armory and the speed ups also okay we need uh, six more legendary oh this is nice we got six times 6 which is 3600 gems value comparing to VIP shop prices and we got two speed ups which are usable we have general ones and we have someone for training and welcome everyone to the stream ladies and gentlemen in about three minutes we're going to talk about the Tomiris bug which is crazy And we have one more. Let's hope we're getting two legendaries now. Let's do it. Come on. Uh, okay, that's four. That's 2400 value, so that's fine. I'm fine with it. Okay, so for do today's chances, it's zero. We used up all our chances. Tomorrow I'm going to proceed here. And uh, most likely going to 100. Maybe it's even worse to go over 100, I have to say. 
pretty good if you are looking for the for the blueprints here all right after the live stream what i'm going to do here is i will put a marker in the first comment with a uh, link to the time when we just started to talk about this topic here which is in about two minutes so everyone joining on this video even after the live stream he can just click to the right time and uh, he doesn't have to hear all this stuff i was talking about before you have one 50 percent have open what 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 Oh, we are right. Thanks. Nah. Yeah, I just uh, saw it. Thanks <laughs> for pointing that out. And uh, welcome everyone. Are you ready to see what's going on with Tomiris? Where is Baba? Um, I think he's relaxing in his KBK. He's relaxing in his KBK. I know we cannot do any Sirori crisis. I already fin uh, already finished this one. wasn't too hard. It's pretty easy. All right, I think it's getting time. Flash, I like your accent and your voice. Thank you very much, Sat. And I doubt we're going to see some Brunos here today. I doubt. What's up, Fleisch? Cute panda. Is it you? Hello, Fleisch, and hello, chat. Dimas, welcome. Should low spender do this event? Yes, it's good for low spenders. In my opinion. You don't have to own full legendary equipment, but maybe you craft one. This is uh, doable for even free... Not free to play, but low spender. Best accessory for Attila Field. Uh, you should go with accessory which is giving 5% uh, attack damage. Let me just fast check over. I like the greatest glory. This is normal attack damage all the time and this also is uh, increasing your counter attack damage by the way. It's not only normal attack, it's also increasing your counter attack damage. This is 100% by the way. For Attila Takeda, I like this one. I like this one the most. Okay, so let's talk about the Tomiris bug topic. And as you can see there is a question mark on the bug. Which means I'm not sure if this really is a bug or if this is intended. If this is intended... <sighs> uh, I don't know what to say, but this has huge implications on the game. Once people start knowing about this and... After this livestream I hope people <laughs> are aware of what's going on here. Let me just uh, increase the size of this picture here. Okay, let's first start with this picture. What do we see here? Let's check this report. Well, you can see Tomiris is casting Arrow of Veng uh, Vengeance. And if you check the skill damage, you can see 1.24 million skill damage. I repeat, 1.24 million skill damage. Uh, this skill damage has never seen before. Okay, you can, with Edward, he can do like, I don't know, when he is lucky 200k or maybe a little bit more but not uh, more than 1 million this is 5 times more and uh, keep in mind this is just one time of the skill after the second round of uh, Tomiris firing the skill again you get the same damage and what is, uh, what is uh, the rally size you are fighting against well the rally size out of Ensem is about 2.4 million a rally has about 2.4 million without of Ensign. And this means two hits and the rally is done. Okay, two hits and the rally is gone. Now in Ensign they have about 3 million plus. So even with 3 million plus you have two hits with Tomiris. 
and the rally is gone. It's just disappearing. By the way, this is uh, this is uh, for two possible cases. The case, the first case is if you start a rally on a structure, you can kill the structure very fast if you use this technique. If you defend in a structure against a rally, you can use the same technique. You can just destroy the incoming rally with the same technique. And I prepared some video stuff here. I prepared some video stuff here. Let's first, uh, let me check out what I'm going to show here first. So I've shown you this picture. Now I just uploaded a video and I'm going to... Okay, just give me a second here. Just give me a second. Oh, by the way, uh, at this time I have to make a shout out. And uh, this shout out is going to Vinny Alto. By the way, Vinny Alto has also started YouTube, I think. So maybe you want to check out his uh, YouTube channel after this one. And uh, it's not only Vinny Alto, let me just look up the name. Also, Amy Klaas helped in creating the video you are going to see just uh, in some minutes. But first, let's see how the damage can perform on a rally. And let me put this on the stream. It should show up now. Yes, it is. Okay, uh, I want you to take a look on this Ramses, which is attacking the fort. This is a full rally. Now he already lost some HP, but uh, be aware this is a full rally. Okay, and now please look at the HP. Look at the HP. I'm going to start it now. Look what's happening. White. White HP. Boom. Look at the HP. See what just happened. C can you see the HP? What happened to the full rally? He dropped from, I don't know, 70% HP to 10%? He's done. <laughs> now, you want to tell me this is not game changing or what? I, I mean, and by the way, this works for both. This also is working for the fort. If you are attacking a fort, you can use the same technique. Bam. Boom. It's gone. This was just one hit. <laughs> it's crazy. Now I was looking. Uh, I was look looking into into the reports and what's going on here. Now it can be pos possible. This is not a bug. It can be possible. This is not a bug because I'm I'm going to explain you how it's been done. Okay, and then you consider yourself. Then you can consider yourself if this is a bug or if this is intended. I cannot tell you. If I read everything, it looks like it's intended. It looks like it's intended to work like that. But maybe they want to apply a change because this is... Uh, I don't know. If everyone is using this, good luck. <laughs> good luck in your next Ansem KVK. And this is very important to note here. This is Ansem only. Okay, this is Ansem only. And the reason... Uh, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, this is the video I wanted to show you now. Here. Let me put this... Uh, let me close this. And I have to show you a second video now. And let me get this on the live stream. There we go. Okay, so this is Vinny Alto and I talk to him and I ask him, hey, can we reproduce? I want to reproduce. You just put your, ma your single march there and then you attack with two or three marches. And I want to see it in action with a good quality. So what you are going to see here now is not a rally, but we're testing it on open field. Okay, we're just testing it on open field. And even on open field, this is crazy. We're not reaching uh, 1 million, but we're still reaching very, very high numbers. So this is also usable on the field. Let me just fast forward here to something we want to see. Oh, by the way, I think I have to show you something else first, so you understand what's going on here. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. Just give me a second here. Just give me a sec. Ah, uh, by the way, Scooby Snacks. Thank you very much for your super chat, buddy. Thank you very much. And let me just very fast find the correct position here for you to show. Okay. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it works, okay? I'm just explaining you now how it works. You have to be an Ansem. And in Ansem you can choose support skills. And what is required here is the support skill for Tomiris, which is called, and I don't like to pronounce it because it's hard, Massage Thais Counterattack. Okay, Massage Thais Counterattack. This is what you have to use. But this is only usable for all the marches which are swarming. So you need two You need uh, two parts for this to work. The first part is marches swarming the target. Okay, this is the first part. Marches swarming the target you want to destroy. And those marches have to use massage ties counterattack. And you can use Richard or Martel, anything tanky. So let's say there is a rally which you want to destroy. You have several marches which are tanky. They don't even need to be tanky. You also can use your just your normal marches on the field. But they have to be they have to be using the support skill massage ties counterattack. Okay? Then you first swarm the target. All the marches are swarming the target. They are applying this uh, Tumiris stacks. And then the second part of this to work is the garrison or the rally has to own a Tomiris. Okay, the rally has to own a Tomiris. And once the Tomiris is firing her active skill, all the stacks are being calculated together and everything is going to explode. Okay, so part one. Marches swarm, swarming the target with this much large Thais counterattack. They are applying those stacks and then Tomiris, uh, which is in garrison or is a rally leader, has to fire her active skill and then boom, all the stacks are just going to explode. So this is how, this is, how is, this, uh, this is going to work. Okay, let me just uh, close this one here and let's proceed on the video. So, as I told you, I wanted to reproduce and this is how it works on the field. So, let's check what's going on on normal marches. So, this is just an example. Okay, I think we have been too far. Okay, so this is a white HP Richard. Okay, all those uh, marches around are swarming. They have uh, the Massage Thais counterattack from Tomiris. Okay, so, so they are applying the stacks. They are applying the stacks. Now we got Edward firing the skill. And this is Tomiris. And you cannot see it now, but I have made a picture for you. I did a picture. And this is a skill damage. Okay, this is one march on the field. Tomiris. It's causing 100,000. Normally 100,000 is skill damage in a rally, okay? <laughs> Normally this is skill damage in a rally. So just one march is causing 100,000 skill damage on the field. This is crazy. So even on the field, this has huge amplifications. It's just crazy. And let's just proceed with the video. Look. Okay, let me close the picture here. It's yellow. Okay, it's yellow now. Now wait for the second one. Boom! It's red. Again, over 100,000. Two skills. And Richard is done. <laughs> I don't know what to say when I saw this. This is crazy. This is just crazy. I 
and we can see the report. Let me show you the report. There we go. And this is a report of Tomiris, Edward Tomiris fighting against Richard Charles. And yes, you can see this is Ansem. This uh, Richard used 400k. Okay, this Richard used 400k march because this is Ansem. So even a Tomiris with 224 troops fighting against the 400 Richard. <laughs> I mean, look at the power loss. Just uh, look at the power loss, this is crazy. Okay, let's uh, do something here. Let me put this on the screen again. Let me put this on the screen again. I mean, we, we can read it up. Massage die is counterattack. The normal attacks of troops led by this commander have a 60% chance to add a stack of poison to the target, stacking up to 15 times. Stacks last 5 seconds, but the timer is refreshed each time a stack is added. For each stack, the target takes an extra 3% skill damage. Now, I cannot tell you if this is a bug. Because, I mean, come on, if several marches are swarming with this skill, yeah, of course, all the stacks are getting a, a applied to the target. And once, once Tomiris is in the game, and firing her active skill, all these uh, stacks are getting boom. Okay, let me check the chat. You can't give the skill as support skill. Uh, only the swarming marches are using this support skill, okay? Again, only the swarming marches are using this support skill. Tomiris cannot use it. Only the swarming marches are using Massage Thais counter attack. And then you have Tomiris in the fort or in the rally and she doesn't need to use Massage Thais counter attack because you cannot equip support skills to the own commanders. So let's say you have 10 marches. 10 marches swarming with Massage Thais counter attack. Applying 15 stacks. After some rounds they applied all 15 stacks. And I think again something crashed here. What the? Okay, we are back. So, 10 marches swarming, having 15 stacks. This means 150 times multiplied by 80. That's a direct damage factor of 12,000. Okay, 12,000 damage factor. Just in case we are calculating here with 10 marches, this is crazy. So yeah, this is why I put a question mark behind the bug. I'm not sure if this is intended or, the, or is this is a bug. We're going to see, right? We're going to see when this is getting fixed. But let me tell you something, if you are using this in Ansem right now... Whew, uh, this has a huge impact. Okay. Uh, let me get uh, rid of this picture over here. Okay, this is gone. Now let me check if I can show you something more here. Oh yeah, this is just a battle log. Yeah, there, there, uh, there we go. You can see Tomiris cast arrow of against 112k on the field. Okay, on the field. 
on the field. 112k damage. Boom. Rex Gaming. Hi. How are you? And also welcome everyone else. And as always, a like and subscribe is uh, very appreciated. Thank you very much for that. And let me check if we coming along something more. Okay, we can check it again. Another example. So, HP full. Richard, three marches using the Massage Thais support skill from Tomiris. And uh, the Edward has Tomiris as secondary. This is required for this to work. So all the stacks are getting applied. Boom, yellow. This is 400k march, by the way. It's hard to see the skill damage, but it's uh, over 100,000. Yep, and boom again. Yeah, I think we can speed this up. Okay, again, thank you very much, Vinny Alto. And he also has started a YouTube account, I think. So just check him out. And thank you very much again for sending me this footage. Okay, let's uh, close this one. And I think I want to show you again what uh, happens in Anthem if a rally in this case is attacking a forge okay this is a full rally let's just show it again and this Ramses is getting all the stacks applied and he's going from white HP to nearly being killed yeah I mean I don't know what more to say. And this is like a direct damage factor of 12,000. Okay, this is like a damage factor of 12,000. If you are swarming with 10 marches. Now just compare, just compare. Saladin has a damage factor of 1,700, so make it 12,000, it's like that, it's like you have a march which the damage factor 12,000. So I think I explained everything about how it, how it works, can just uh, repeat it again. Swarming marches have to use Mashas Taes counterattack support skill, which is only available in Ansem. So this only works in Ansem. Swarming marches need to use this skill. They are swarming the victim, and then you have to use Tomiris as rally leader to attack the victim. And once Tomiris is firing her active skill, all the stacks which have been applied from the swarming marches are going to explode. And you're causing 100 million plus skill damage. Okay, but uh, we can also talk about how to counter attack. Let's say, let's say Lilis is saying, hey, this is intended. Let's just simulate. Lilis is saying, hey, this is intended. Nobody found out yet. This is intended. How you can counter it? There is a way to counter this, but uh, well, maybe maybe you have different ideas. But the point here to counter this, you have to kill the swarming marches, right? You have to prevent marches swarming you. So this means you have to own the field. If you're doing a rally on a fort using this technique, using this technique, you have to own the field. So with your rally along, send your marches and kill all those swarming, swarming marches around. And someone is saying Theodora. 
Yes! It can work. Because Theodora is clearing all debuffs, right? Hmm, that's a good point. That's a good point. Let's check it. Okay. Expertise. Imme immediately removes control, slow down, poison, exhaust, burn, and other debuffs from troops led by this commander. At the same time, deals direct damage up to five target troops within the secular area of effect. Damage factor 1700. Damage deals to each target is reduced by 15%. Cedric, yes, äh, eine Million. Du musst nochmal zurück. Ich mach, ich verlinke hinter die Position, wo ich es erklärt habe. Aber es ist drin. So, I think Theodora can solve the situation. Now Theodora is made for garrison. For attacking a fort, yeah, you can use her, but... Well, if you see someone using this technique, go with Theodora. <laughs> Regardless if you're doing a rally or if you are defending. So using Theodora is very good now in garrison. Just... Maybe Lilis is... It's not, let's simulate. This is not a bug. Lilis just made it intended. So people uh, invest their sculptures into Theodora. Okay, just maybe. Maybe they want everyone to go into Theodora. Because she's a key. Okay, she's a counter key to counter this devastating uh, technique. Maybe. I mean... Are we going to see if this is like getting fixed or... And uh, Vinny Alto, thank you very much for becoming level one. And yes, this is Vinny. Welcome to the stream, buddy. And thank you very much again for creating the footage. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if he was the first one finding out about this. I had someone posting me a picture of uh, exactly this year. So the same situation about two weeks ago, but I have seen nothing special in it. But when I have seen the video from Vinny Alto, it was a bit different. So I, I don't think he was the first one, but uh, he made me being aware of it. So thank you very much for that. And Vinny Alto, if you like, you can join Discord. I'm on my channel in uh, voice and it will be on live stream just in case uh, you want to join so talking about uh, countering this uh, Tomiris I think to, um, Theodora is going to work here but if you don't have Theodora available for this case you can take care nobody is going to swarm you try to prevent uh, try to prevent marches swarming you and preventing they applying stacks to you this is how you can prevent it try to get the field before you're doing a rally kill all the marches around before you do a rally man you can take down a fort no problem with that yes if you have a group of people and they are aware what you have to do see if you are smart you can just tell everybody to use this skill um, let me check the name again this was massage ties counter attack everyone should use massage ties counter attack and then some people using Tomiris on the field Five people using uh, Tomiris on the field and 20 people using Massage Ties counter attack. And you have field fights going on. Those field fights are going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. Kuzunoke also has a skill to remove all the debuffs. Yes, this is right. So maybe Kuzunoke and Theodora are becoming useful even on the field. Let's see where this is leading to. Let's see where this is leading to. Okay, uh, let me just turn down the music, Vinny. I have seen you joined a Discord. Okay. Um, hey. Yeah, Vinny. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. How's it going, guys? Yeah, we just <laughs> talked about the topic here. 
Yeah, yeah, I saw quite a little bit of it. I was on a busy just, on a call. Just but, um, go straight in, and if you want, also want to add something. I mean, we have just watched at the videos at uh, the footage uh, in KBK we have seen, and also the video footage uh, you have created yesterday. And I think I already explained how this is uh, working overall. But maybe you want to give some more details, like which occasions this can be used and uh, experience with this one, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just shout out to the guys in 1228. They're the ones that discovered this. They got wrecked in an altar fight and it happened to them and they looked through the battle logs and saw what was happening. Uh, so Amy Class and Church Burn are the ones that discovered it. Then they kind of showed me before war and we took advantage of it. Um, but basically what's happening is the first skill stacks up to 10 times where you get 80 damage factor times 10. 10 or times however many stacks it is so up to 15 but each time the support skill which is an anthem is getting used the masiag's counter attack it's just multiplying that so each commander is doing 15 stacks now with that support skill and it's 15 times 80 damage factor times however many marches are there so it's just multiplying and before this earlier today i did run this test in arc of osiris too in an arc practice match and it it's confirmed that it does stack from other ma ma marches outside of heroic anthem as well but the downfall to this is that you don't have just the support skill you have the first skill as well so when you're using multiple tamiruses you're clearing yourself so it's not as powerful hmm so the first skill is always resetting itself. So when you're launching that first skill, you're clearing your own stacks as well, and you're not adding on to it. So it's not quite as powerful. But, but it still, still does work. You could get to mm -hmm. 15 stacks quicker. You, you you could see your number increasing quicker. And the purple stack mark on Tamiris when you're launching a when you're garrisoning with her or or rallying or field fighting only goes to 15, even though it goes beyond that when you're using multiple marches. You'll so you'll never visibly see it but you know it's happening because it's going quicker and it's getting to 15 quicker. Well, we're going to see if Lilith is considering this is uh, working as intended or if it is a bug. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. And to be honest, uh, maybe this is going faster than creating tickets. I mean, <laughs> just imagine you create tickets and uh, it takes for a while for them to check the situation. Maybe just this could talk, be here for a while. Yeah, talking about that, uh, and uh, this may get uh, fixed faster. Yeah, let's see how they're um, thinking about it. There is a probability this is working as intended. I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying, because someone just said Theodora, uh, this may be a thing because Theodora can clear all these uh, stacks, right? Yeah. So, but I mean, you'd have to use Theodora in a rally. <laughs> yeah, to this, stop is, it. this is what I was uh, talking about. Are we going to see Theodora as uh, a part of a rally leading? I think you had one of those theories to use Harold Theodora so you could clear Harold's defense to reduction as well. Oh, yeah. Maybe this be is combo. becoming a thing 2022. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> see if this works out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, um, so I'm going to let you get back to your stream. Uh, thanks sure, for sure. having me on. Uh, anybody, does joining. anybody have questions to see if it works before I jump off? You have to wait for some oh, seconds. For delayed. For the, yeah, 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 yeah. Some seconds. And let me just put the footage again on the on the live stream. Here you can see Ramses. Take a look on Ramses. Full HP, white bar. It's not full, really full, but kind of full. And uh, all the marches around are applying stacks. Do you remember how many how many uh, marches were swarming in this case? I can see. If I have I to mean, go by, it looks like five, six, seven. It, I don't know. It, it was probably around that number. I mean, we definitely had more than five or six or seven mm -hmm. there, but it was just whoever could hit it quick enough because it was going down so quickly with a three million garrison that a uh, heroic anthem fort holds. Once one skill gets popped off with even if it's a five times multiplier mm -hmm. on that 15 stack, it was crazy, crazy amounts of damage. Yeah, as you can see again, uh, Ramses just dropped to red. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, uh, this is what was the purpose of this fort there? You, you just placed it there, you told me, right? Yeah, it was a suicide fort because we pretty much 1148, which is the one camp to our right, they blocked off the pass. We really couldn't get in for 
until their forts burned down. So we found an open spot and dropped it in there and just tried to protect it using this strategy. Yeah, and caused some uh, good damage to the opponent. Yeah, and, and pretty much every kill to death ratio report, we were up about four to four to one or five to one. Mm. We were in, in favor of us as mm. well. Yeah, so thank you very much for the insights. Let me check uh, the chat if there are any questions, but I think you can also follow the chat, right? So yeah, try, let's see if we find something here. One question. So it could go Zero. over 15 stacks. <laughs> yeah, it, it can go over 15 stacks. However many marches are hitting the rally, it could get to 15 stacks per march. Are all Tomiris broken? Oh, by the way, we can talk about uh, which level do is required for uh, Tomiris for this to work. <laughs> well, if you're rallying your garrison, you want it to be expertise, just because you want the extra stats. Yeah, I'm but just... if you're the swarming march, all you need is one, 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 one. You don't need anything else because the damage you're getting from a one, 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 one is oh, the fourth skill is all that matters there because you're. But the swarming march is not using uh, Tomaris, right? He's, they are just well, ha having it for for getting the skill. Yes, for getting skill. the skill in Heroic yeah, yeah, Anthem, right. but say you're using the strategy in Arc of Osiris or a KVK that's not Heroic yeah, Anthem. And the, the, support skill, the yeah. support skill will have the level of your Tomaris skill, right? So this is... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and the support skill in Heroic Anthem really doesn't matter. It'll just delay um, how quickly you get to 15 stacks because it's a probability, that fourth skill. And I think it starts at 50% and then it goes up to 100% if you're I at see. 5 so it's just a probability of how quickly you're going to get to 15 stacks. Okay. Um, for everyone who just joined uh, after the live stream, please check the first comment on this video. I will put a timer. So you can just click the timer and it's going straight to when I started to talk about this topic. So you don't have to look uh, all above this uh, live stream here. You're going straight into the information. Okay. Um, Vinny, thank you very much for yep. joining no this problem. live stream Thanks for having and me. giving some more insights and uh, details. Uh, talking to you later. Yep, have fun, guys. Have a good one. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you liked this live stream, please drop a like and subscribe on uh, this uh, video. I very appreciate you and every one of you. I think we went through everything here. We also had Vinny going a little bit more into details. Now, chill, relax and uh, think about possibilities, how to use it in your KVK. Maybe you're just starting and going into Ansem. This has huge amplifications. Think about it. And if Lilith is not going to fix it or correct it, maybe the, it's not a bug, okay? Like I said, maybe it's not a bug. Uh, we're going to see. Uh, we're going to see. But at least now you are aware and so you received the information. And uh, I think we're coming to an end here. Thanks everyone joining this live stream today. I wish you a good rest of the day. Enjoy. And as always, see you on the next one.